Hello, family and friends. It's the old Chrome Dances. Let me kind of get you up here a little bit. Uh, just a little update um, on the cats. Spirit, he's drinking good, but he hasn't eaten hardly anything today. So I, we opened up a can of tuna. He will not eat the tuna, but he'll drink the water. I get the yeah. tuna in the water. Doing a video! And... Um, he will um, drink that, so he drank that, um, but he hasn't eaten much, and I've tried to encourage him, and he, he just hasn't eaten much. As far as Tombstone goes, the kitten, he is eating like friggin' pig. I mean, he has had tuna, um, he's eaten his dry cat food, he's been drinking really, really good, he looks worse. But he's eating better, and he's drinking better, and he's moving around a lot more today. So even though he looks worse, he's acting better. So I don't get that. Um, and he also ate, um, I fit sausages and peppers and french fries for dinner. Well, the tray of sausages accidentally got knocked off. And... Uh, so I tore all the sausage up for the cats and he was one of the first ones up there, you know, to the feeding bowl and he ate like a little pig. And then we went to the buffet uh, since dinner kind of hit the floor. Um, but we stopped by Goodwill. This was out in Bellevue, Nebraska. Uh, we decided to go out there and uh, I thought, well, while we're out here, since we hardly ever, ever get out there, it's like, let's hit this goodwill. So we did. And I got a couple things. So I'll show you. That's the update on the cats. Um, I got a really pretty skirt. I know. I said I didn't need any more. Unless it was a purple one. But I thought this was such a cool one. And um, it was $3.59. And then I got 20% off, and it's like a kind of, um, well, I don't know if you consider this exactly a tie-dye, but it's got yellow, then it ombres down to a green, to an orange, and it does have some purple, but it has a nice, can you see that pattern on, on, on there? Can you see the, it has a stitchy pattern all around the bottom of it, and what I like about this one really well is it has a uh, it has pockets on the side which is different. I don't think this is the first skirt I have that has pockets on the side. So I thought it was so pretty and uh, I can wear a lot of different tops with this and uh, with the pockets I went ahead and picked it up. So I got that skirt and then I got this blouse, and I thought this was just really pretty. And it was, uh, blue tag was, no. No, I didn't. It was red and green, I think. This was three fifty nine. Yeah, I didn't get anything on sale. Five and, uh, I think it's five and let five. Oh my god. You know, I can't see this. There you guys go. Maybe you guys can see it. That's the brand. But it's a very pretty shirt. I like it. It's kind of got a little bit of a ruffly sleeve. And um, it's got some um, faux buttons down and this is kind of quilted here on the the um I guess is that called the yoke or what and then it um is um gathered it's kind of like gathered elastic so it's very stretchy at the waist and it comes down and it's in different tiers see it's in different tiers and it's just a pretty pattern. I'll hold it up. 
and I thought it was very pretty for the um, for the money. And then I'll show you the back. Yeah, that's one we hardly ever frequent. So it's like, well, we're right here. Let's just go. Let's see if there was what brand this skirt may have been. It has one on it. Club Z means nothing to me. I don't know. This means nothing to me neither as far as its label. <laughs> Uh, this is a little bolero. I love it when I can find these. It was a little bit more than I wanted to pay for it, but I still got it uh, because it fit nicely. It was five forty-nine. dollars uh, I wasn't too happy about that, but it's black. It has the ruffle around, the, you know, that comes all the way down and all the way around the bottom. And then it's just got the sleeves, and it's kind of a stretchy um, fabric. And it's just a cute little bolero. And I said, I'll go ahead and get it, because I don't run across these in my size very often. And for that price, I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, this is by Glamour. Oh, it says Egypt on it. I didn't notice that. I don't understand that, but it's in American. It still had the original price tag on it, though. And, uh, it was originally 40 bucks for this piece. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's cute. So I picked that up. And then, uh, the other last piece I got... I have something from Wish.com to show you. It was this uh, sweat proof. And then it says open here and add ice or cling. And it says anything but disposable. Double wall water vessel. I've been so lucky at finding some of the nicest the nice uh, ones of these that I've been showing you guys. And, and it's by Aladdin. Yeah, at first when I seen Aladdin, I thought this was lamp oil for oil lamps. Because, it, you know, it just confused me. I thought it was colored lamp oil. And I didn't realize that it was uh, a water... Uh, has a two-way lid, double wall in installation, BPA-free, leak-proof, and... Uh, it was a dollar ninety nine, and I think this. I thought I seen. Oh, I don't know. I thought I'd seen an original price of fourteen ninety nine on this, but I must be mistaken. I am. I'm having a very bad eye day. I can't. Can't see that down there. But yeah, so I picked that and. Uh, it unscrews here. I did figure that out. So you can put your ice in and cling it. <laughs> and then um, when you want to drink, then you just unscrew it up here and drink out of it. So I thought, cool. So I've gotten a couple of really nice ones of these that I know cost uh, somebody some money, but not me. So that was, that's my Google haul, but I do have something to show you from wish.com real quick that I got. Um, I, those were, that was what I found at Goodwill. I got this, and it's a, it's called a boutique sock rack, but I'm not going to use it for socks. I think I paid, ooh, I want to say, ooh, I want to say, Either four or five bucks. I can't remember what I paid for this. I think it might have been four bucks on Wish. And I thought it was supposed to be a pink plastic one because that's what they showed. 
in the uh, in the picture, but they sent me this metal one, which is okay. I mean, I think this is going to be more durable than the plastic, but I just had to make sure I watched so that it wouldn't rust out or anything. But it uh, it just hangs, you know. It's got a hanger. And then it's got all these little clips, and what I got it for was for lingerie. You know, like if uh, nylons or uh, bras or, or underwear, you know, that I didn't want to go into the dryer. I thought this would be good to, um, you know, for that, for lingerie. So um, that's what I picked this up for. So underwear, bras, um, and... Um, whatever, or even scarves, uh, some small scarves that were lighter weight, you know, you did just want to hang up and dry quick, things like that, so yeah, I picked that up, and then I think the shipping was a dollar, yeah, I think it was a dollar on that, oh, I want to say, I know a while back I hauled in the wish haul a pink mesh thing for washing um, bras, your uh, wire, wire bras, underwire, underwire bras. That thing is great. That's fabulous. And, and I'm a heavier set gal and bigger busted. And so I had absolutely no problems with fitting my size bra. Because I know I had looked at a couple in there, and in their comments, they had said that they wore like a, a 44, whatever, and their bra would not fit in the one they had brought. In that pink mesh that kind of looks like a dome, your bra will fit. I'm just telling you. So, uh, <coughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'm very pleased with that. It held up real good, too. No problems. Uh, I'm going to order a couple more so I can force more than one bra at a time. But I just kind of, you know, I wanted to try it out first uh, and see before, you know, I ordered two or three of them and make sure that I liked it. So, but yeah, I got this from Wish.com. I've still got stuff out, but it's taken a very long time for things to get here. <coughs> I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to to show. Nothing else has um, has come in. So I guess that's it. We'll talk to you guys later.